The now former owner of the shop, once called a reliable engine repair, then Mitchell Automotive, sat alone in court, a place he's been plenty of times before. I gave him $2,300. He didn't do nothing. He ripped off all these people here. The state says it's gotten so many complaints since 2009 that Bobby Mitchell had taken money from customers and done shoddy work or no work at all. The state says in some cases Mitchell wouldn't give customers their vehicles back. In March, law enforcement and a judge shut the business down. The attorney general made sure the cars, trucks, and engines got back to their owners. A judge ordered Mitchell to come up with some sort of payment plan to make things right. But today, more excuses, even blaming the state for his. Troubles. There was nothing I could do to avoid 40 some complaints because of a business being closed down because of the state. But after months of trying to work out a deal, Judge Nan Nash had enough. She told Mitchell starting right now, he needs to come up with 500 bucks a month for his victims. The Attorney General says there are so many, the debt likely totals 100 grand. Any idea how you're going to pay him back? Mitchell didn't answer me, but the judge says he better figure it out. For Target 7, I'm Nancy Laughlin. Mitchell's parents have reopened the business under a different name. The judge says they're not involved in their son's case.